module, you will learn about the concept of marketing mix. Let us begin the session with the definition of marketing. According to Albert W. Emery, marketing is merely a civilized form of warfare in which most battles are won with words, ideas, and disciplined thinking. Marketing can be referred as an ancient art, which includes all activities pertaining to creation of place, time, and possession utility. It is a process of discovering and translating consumer needs and wants into products and services, creating demand for these products and services, and then increasing this demand. Marketing activates the production consumption chain in any economy. Let us now learn about marketing mix. There are various aspects which affect the marketing of a product or service. Some of these aspects are controllable while others cannot be controlled. The ones which are uncontrollable must not be given much attention as least could be done about them. Some controllable aspects are the features of the product, the price of the product, the selling system of the product that is through own salesmen or retailers and the selected mode of advertisement. These aspects provide the entrepreneurs a good number of alternatives to choose from. The entrepreneurs who wish to gain most from these aspects must try and choose the best mix of these alternatives and decide in such a way that a maximum yield is returned. As a result, the entrepreneurs design and carry out most, if not all, activities and programs in its effect to win more customers for the company. They do it so that they can provide a total offer to the customers in a manner that makes sure of the following. Their offers fulfill the needs and wants of the customers. The terms and attributes of the offers are acceptable and beneficial to the customers. All the goals of the organization, including profits, are achieved in this process. Since the primary work of the entrepreneur is to provide total offer to his or her customers, he or she must do so systematically, calculatedly, attentively, and step by step. Firstly, choosing the product that would actually meet the identified needs of the target consumer group. Secondly, by performing various distribution functions like transportation, warehousing and channel management so that the consumers conveniently get the desired product. Thirdly, by carrying out a number of promotional measures like advertising and sales promotion for communicating with the consumer and promoting the product. Lastly, by using the pricing mechanism to achieve the consummation of the marketing process striking the balance that is acceptable to the firm as well as the consumers. Therefore, to conclude, marketing mix means combination of the product, price, promotion and distribution methods that are needed to meet marketing objectives. It is basically a set of variables in the market which can be controlled so that the firm can use to influence their buyer's response. In this module, you have learned marketing is merely a civilized form of warfare in which most battles are won with words, ideas and disciplined thinking. It can be referred as an ancient art which includes all activities pertaining to creation of place, time, and possession utility. It is a process of discovering and translating consumer needs and wants into products and services, creating demand for these products and services, and then increasing this demand. There are various aspects which affect the marketing of a product or service. 
Some of these aspects are controllable, while others cannot be controlled. Some controllable aspects are the features of the product, the price of the product, the selling system of the product, that is, through own salesmen or retailers, and the selected mode of advertisement. Marketing mix means combination of the product, price, promotion, and distribution methods that are needed to meet marketing objectives. It is basically a set of variables in the market which can be controlled so that the firm can use to influence their buyer's response.